but this was better for first year when we had our docs exams and we had to bring everything but realistically like as a second year medical student i'm not they're not like where's your tuning fork Hello and welcome to this week's video. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Colorado. This week's video is something different that might become a monthly series and it might be a one-time thing. So you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think about this video and any feedback for what you want me to do in the future if I actually do this again. I'm currently on my pediatrics rotation and truly there's nothing interesting to vlog. I'm at pediatric ER at Children's. So I sit in the middle of the like work room, but it's not even the room. It's just like the middle of the ED where the nurses and doctors sit and I'm always with them like I there's nothing to vlog I don't even like make a lunch break half the time like literally once this week I actually had a lunch break so there's just nothing to vlog so I thought it'd be so much more fun in this video we are potentially going to turn this into a series and for this one we're going to talk about what's in my bag for my current rotation which is pediatric emergency we're going to talk about products that are currently bringing joy or convenience to my life as a medical student because I'm constantly buying the new things and truly I love to share products recipes like just in general I love telling people about things that I love so that'll be fun and then three we're just gonna do a very rapid fire monthly recap of January tell you all about the exciting things the frustrating things and then my goals for February quick video quick and dirty because didn't want to vlog but also think maybe you guys will enjoy it and want me to do this monthly because I think it'd be fun and what's in my bag literally changes every rotation anyway let's go ahead and get started <laughs> all right what is in my bag for my pediatric ER rotation this first off is the bag that I've currently been using I'm always switching to be between either my Bayes black diaper bag or my Bayes work tote. So currently I'm using the diaper bag, but this is my amazing and wonderful work tote you've already heard me obsess over if you've been following along for a while. <laughs> it's amazing, truly. The thing that I would say that I use the most often is our Littman stethoscope. So obviously I'm in the ER, I'm doing a physical exam with every patient that I see and I see a lot of patients throughout the day. <laughs> Probably look like an idiot if I didn't show up with this. Also, I will note like I have the thing where you can put in all your physical exam tools. This is what it is. I really like it, no complaints, but this was better for first year when we had our docs exams and we had to bring everything. But realistically, like as a second year medical student, I'm not, they're not like, where's your tuning fork in the pediatric ER? They're not like, where's your reflex hammer in the pediatric ER? <laughs> And the one time that I did bring this for my OB rotation, she's like, I was like, hey, I have this in, in my pocket if you want it. Like I was carrying it around with me. And she's like, oh, it's okay. I prefer to use these bottles instead. So <laughs> fabulous for first year. And I did put this in my bag in the beginning of my pediatric rotation, but took it out because I'm trying to keep as few things as possible in my bag because it's annoying when it's stuffed and really heavy. Okay, so next that is in my bag is my snacks. <laughs> I just don't wanna carry, I don't wanna carry everything separate. And my lunchbox stays in the fridge because I pack it the night before. And then my stuff that I don't want to go in the fridge goes in my backpack. Another thing that's super helpful and I actually got from our medical school during pediatric orientation is this little card. There's a few things that I pull out at the beginning of the shift. And this is one of the things because it gives you the ranges of vitals for the different ages, which is super helpful for pediatrics. So here's me when I'm like coming into my shift. Do, 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 do. I put my lunchbox in the workroom, sit down, put my stethoscope around my neck, put this out and put it just on just so that it's present. And then of course I get my pens, which if you don't already follow me on LTK, all this stuff has been linked before because Cami is amazing at my affiliate stuff. So definitely follow me on LTK, but also it'll be linked below. These pens are amazing because it has different colors. So when I'm writing vitals, in my little handy dandy notebook. If they have like a, a temperature of above 100.4, I'll write it in red, just like things like that. And then like, otherwise I'll like write it in blue. So I have these amazing. So next thing I will get out is this. This is not the pediatric, they have a pediatrics one, but I didn't want to buy one because I'm only going to be on pediatrics for two weeks. I will say I am using this so often. I'm almost like halfway through this book. So I get this out and I just, again, put it on the desk, put my little pen, with that and that's actually all that I get out. <laughs> Just another thing to note that I do have is one, I got a pediatric related badge reel. Actually my mom got these for me for Christmas and they are Velcro and so you can switch out different things. This is not on Amazon or anywhere. It's like somebody local in Zanesville, Ohio. Um, but you can find 
cool badge reels on Amazon. And then things I always like, what I have other than my badge is always related to the rotation I'm on. So currently what I have is the immunization schedules. Um, you can get this from something like Amazon. And that's really helpful because like I've, a lot of my classmates will like randomly get pimped on this. I haven't, but just in case I get asked about it, that's there. Then the other pediatric related thing that I have is a little card. Again, they gave this to us during pediatric orientation. It is like the calculations and stuff related to giving IV fluids to kids. It's like kids are not just small adults and they gave us that. So I keep that in there for reference again, if I get pinned. And one thing that I have that you can get from Amazon that is not, um, cause this again was given by the school, but let me show you what I have from Amazon that has the same thing. Okay, so this Tribe RN, um, it comes with a bunch of little things that you can put on your badge. So before every rotation, I go through this and let's say that I didn't have that immunization schedule for my school. I would go to the color that is like related to pediatrics, which it looks like it's um, red. I would find the immunizations or any pediatric related thing that I thought that I would wanna carry around for a quick reference. So this is really amazing. I come back to this before every new rotation. That is kind of the essential things that I like sit down put on the desk bam bam stethoscope okay so back to this one of the other essential things that I keep in my backpack is post-it notes and it is so so handy another thing that I got recently is this because it fits um sometimes with the post-it notes I want to continue to write things and that's not great because this doesn't like flip I would have to like take it off put it somewhere blah blah, blah. but this perfectly flips so if like I'm trying to remember things related to vomiting, all the things on my differential to think about, then I like, during my pediatric urgent care week, I was like putting that kind of stuff. All the things related to fracture that you wanna do during physical exam. I put all that stuff, it's just amazing. I haven't used it a lot this week, but I'm like, this is just amazing. That's really good. Post-it note. So what I do with my post-it notes and like a million other things, but for this book specifically, I don't wanna forget the questions that I need to be asking when it's like 40 day old infant, right? So, I am always moving this one post-it note onto a, the next blank page before I go see a young child. Let's say I use this, like I just finished seeing a kid, I'm about to see another kid, I'll pull it out of that page, put it in the corner of a blank page, and then I will know to ask those questions. If it were the pediatric version of this book, it would be in there, but I have birth history, vaccines, smoking in the house, do they go to daycare, have they met their milestones, If especially for dehydration related, like, you know, RSV going around, they're vomiting, how many wet diapers have they had in the last 24 hours, and then how many ounces of milk have they had for like breastfeeding slash formula, super important to ask. So now I never have to worry about like coming out of the room and the doctor being like, did you, are they up to date on their vaccines? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like I've asked all the those questions. Um, and then since I don't want to like constantly have to rewrite this all out, I'll do do like the notes right beside to the left so that I can just keep moving this and like efficiency, you know? This is amazing. I write down the room number, the name, chief complaint, and then any notes from the chart review that I'll just like quickly, quickly do before I go see them. And then when I'm in there, I'm very organized. I write down OPQRST right here and then associated symptoms and then easy to go through review of systems and just amazing. Write down my assessment and plan, things on my differential, what I want to do. And then when I come out of the room and do my oral presentation, it is always perfectly organized. My oral presentations aren't perfect, but it's pretty organized compared to, I mean, I can do it without, but I don't have to rewrite things over. I just, I have been freaking loving this book. So that's everything that's like essential. I pull out like very shortly during, after the shift, during the shift, whatever. Oh, and then also another post-it note thing. The other one, somebody told me about a really good website. And so I just put a post-it note there in the beginning and then at the end of my P's rotation, I'll just like archive it in some kind of web form thing. Okay, what else is in my bag? I don't even know. Actually, I, okay, folder because we have assignments. So like I'll print it out before the rotation and keep it in this folder. Sometimes it's an assignment like wound care ass assessment assignment for surgery. I had to get signatures and like seek out thing like dressing changes and then get it signed off so i had this folder to keep that in even though my current pediatric assignment is not in that folder <laughs> but there we go i have my pediatric case files which i got free from anchoots um they're also on amazon the i decided to buy the ones for the specialties i was so pumped for so i bought the books for surgery and ob the rest i'm like now nah, i'm just gonna get them for free through my school then i have my laptop and my ipad truly have not been using these that much at all but i like to have it the one day i don't bring it 
I'm going to be mad that I didn't. Um, I have my new AirPods Pro or whatever the really expensive ones are with a super cute um, case for them from Target and it's the Kate Spade brand. Obsessed. And then obviously I have my phone charger. I just got these blocks from Amazon. One, they're purple and super cute. And two, we had a ton of like chargers that didn't have a block and it was so cheap. It was like the best purchase I could have made. Laptop charger, obviously chapstick, but actually right now with my whole new skincare routine, I'm using Aquaphor. This, I was carrying this every day at surgery in case I need to whip it out for some, but I haven't used it in pediatrics. Again, I have an extra pen. And then honestly, that's pretty much it. In the front, I have snack. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite chocolate in the whole wide world at the current moment. And then I always have a scrunchie, always have an extra, always have like, like not a normal black hair thing. It's like always the scrunchies these days. Snacks, um, these little mini no lotions are amazing because you put hand sanitizer on every 20 seconds when you're in the ED and my hands get really dry. Um, some peppermints, like I said, Aquaphor. That's what I'm actually using right now. And is that it? Yeah, that's what's in my bag and now all over my desk for my pediatrics ER rotation. <laughs> All right, next is a few products that I bought in the last month that add joy or convenience to my life. I have a little fun thing that I thought I could do in the next few vlogs because I got these, this, in hopes that it would bring me joy and convenience. Kachapa Superfood. Randomly at maybe like 11 p.m. I was scrolling on my phone when I should have been sleeping and I bought three of these and I spent like $220, but they're superfoods. So I kind of have like this obsession inspired by TikTok slash just wanting to be healthy and not wanting to drink in alcohol in February because of the CrossFit Open and all those factors together is what inspired the Kajaba. Um, there's this girl on TikTok. I can't remember the thing, but if you follow me on Instagram, I'll mention her name eventually. She does these vlogs where she's like, and time for my nightly kombucha and she drinks kombucha in a wine glass. And I don't know anything about kombucha or if I liked it, but I would say I just tried it last night and it was amazing. Didn't know kombucha was fizzy. And so, yeah, I totally loved how she did that and now I am doing it. And so this is another thing that I want to try that has a ton of superfoods. And I literally just got it in the mail today. So I thought I'd try it and see what I thought with you guys. Um, so I got the coconut acai, sounds delicious. And then the chocolate and the vanilla, which is like safer. So far from smelling the powder in the bag and then smelling this, it smells disgusting. And it also said to use ice cold water and I did milk. I don't know what, like how would it be better with water than milk? I don't know. Just so you know, I'm really dramatic and I really, this smells not good. So I have low expectations. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, one, it's not crazy flavorful. Like if you told me this was coconut or acai or both, I'd be like, is it? <laughs> I use my roommate's like stick frother mixer thing. So the first part was like, just like foam. And I was like, mm. and then I got to like more of a thicker frothy liquid part. And it's actually quite good. And I had low expectations. So I was like really thinking I was gonna hate this. And wow, yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited about that. So you have to watch future vlogs and I'll, I'll try the chocolate and vanilla um, And I'll try it with water and let you know, guys know but so other products that I'm obsessed with This is gonna be so weird, but the amount of joy that it brings me is unparalleled This is a gift that George got me from Amazon unsolicited like completely his own idea They're simply like socks slash slippers that have the groupies at the bottom and they're fitted So they're not like slippers. They fall off of you. I wear them at constantly Another thing I'm obsessed with these days is of Abercrombie's YPB line. Oh my gosh, this is the third color I've gotten in these sweaters. And then I don't know if you can see my pants, but these sweatpants. Anyway, you can see pictures of me and I'll pop up like the LTK pictures that Cami makes of me like in the outfits when I don't look like a bum. Truly obsessed with their YPB line. Obsessed with Abercrombie in general. Oh my gosh, date night tops, body suits, sweaters, skinny jeans. Like I even got one of their gym bags from the YPB line from Christmas. Oh, I'm so obsessed. I am so obsessed with Abercrombie's YPB. Everything that I've gotten is linked in LTK. And then 
other things. So I recently uh, also TikTok inspired. So this and wedding inspired. I spent two hours on TikTok to find like a good, easily digestible recommendation for skincare routine. I'm obsessed. My new obsession is like a skincare routine. So I found a dermatologist and I went based off of that and I got like five products or like, cause I didn't know what order to do. I didn't know what things to get. I wanted it to be from a dermatologist. So it took me a while to like find one. And then I went off of that video and another video to come up with the products that I wanted. But I'm hoping to print out a little like habit tracker, put it in the bathroom and like every day of February, do my skincare routine twice a day. And then also with that is like, I want like whiter teeth. I wanna be glowing guys for my wedding. <laughs> so I've gotten a Hum toothbrush that has an app and it like tells you how to brush, what angle, what speed and what zones to do and for how a certain amount of time and gives you feedback like while you're brushing and it's amazing. So I got that toothbrush. I got a little plaque like dental thing that I still wanna ask my dental hygienist friend how often I should be using, but it's for the plaque that's behind my permanent retainer on my bottom teeth that I want to like improve and then like I got a water flosser which I actually really currently hate I think I'm just gonna stick with normal flossing because the second I use the water flosser my gums bled to death and that doesn't happen with a normal floss so maybe I'll work up to that I got a whole I got a lot of products in January for a skincare routine and like a dental hygiene routine to be glowing for my wedding <laughs> and then some other products we recently got again related to like goals but this is me and George's goals I we really want to learn Spanish so I just got that book in the mail uh, it just came in Amazon. We got two workbooks and then obviously I'm doing Duolingo. I'm on a 103 day streak. <laughs> so here's one of the workbooks we just got today. So this is one that we have not tried yet. And then the other one we did yesterday for the first day because it also just recently came. We kind of just like fleshed out our goals recently. It took us a while. I think that's enough for products that I'm like pumped about, bring me joy. I guess the only convenience one was honestly like the socks George got me and this one now because that's really convenient. It's easier than putting together stuff for a smoothie. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, I wanna do a little recap of last month and goals for this week. I kind of like shared more business related stuff in my last video. Also, this is like, it's only my second video of 2023. So first off, I don't know if I've like officially announced on YouTube, I got engaged. So this is my ring and it's beautiful and wonderful. And he proposed in San Diego. George proposed, that's like uh, the best update of January in San Diego and it was fabulous and I was shocked. So the other update for January monthly recap, like I was saying before I got distracted, I shared like my business income for 2023. I kind of want to keep sharing that if people are interested. January was the most epic month ever and great milestone that we hit was surpassing 20K. I don't know why I couldn't speak English, but the business made over 20K in the month of January, which is epic like holy moly i'm so grateful the downside of all that is i'm trying to build a team and it's truly the most frustrating thing of my entire life of trying to onboard like a project manager that doesn't make me go completely insane so my sanity i am truly worried for over the next few weeks we're working on it i'm trying to have a real team great sales for my course and stuff like i want to do i want to start offering scholarships for it and like giving it free to students who are FAP and like there just needs to like I don't have the time to set that up and I just want a team and that's the current headache but that's the amazing milestone my kind of like monthly recap for January is that it was absolute trash as far as like having any routine did not study did not go to the gym we traveled obviously for winter break so we were in San Diego came back had a week of surgery so that was at the VA and that was like what six to five and then after that I had had um, a different rotation. I had three days of urology, which was seven to three. And then Thursday, Friday, I had 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. at UC Trauma Nights. Completely wrecked from that. The next week, I started urgent care from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., super fatigued for three days, then got a stomach bug from one of the kids and was completely wiped out. Then George got said stomach bug, got it a hundred times worse than I did. We ended up in the ED, so still didn't recover. And then the next week, my shift was currently 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So every single week of January has been different. I did so good with going to the gym and my studying. and I was just like on top of it in December and everything went downhill uh, during winter break and beyond. <laughs> so I think February is the month to get back the swing of things and get my life together. My schedule will not be changing every single week. So holy moly. <laughs> also my surgery shelf is at February 17th and I truly have not studied. Like I've gone through 50 questions. So 
brings us to goals for February. Top goal, pass my surgery shelf, which I'm honestly like, it's a low threshold. I am confident in my abilities that I will pass, but I really got to get my butt into gear to make up for not studying for the last week. Next goal is obviously, if you can't tell, I am really dying to actually learn Spanish. I have been doing so good at my Duolingo streak. I'm getting George involved and I just want to like, actually learn and be able to conversate in it. Like that's one of our like shared goals um, that we came up with. And then lastly, getting the business organized, like the amount of stress and anger and overwhelm that I wake up with and go to bed with and have any time that I'm like not on my ED shift because on my ED shift, I like completely forget about all these worries and stressors. Outside of that, I'm like, I'm losing my sanity. <laughs> like <laughs> trying to onboard people who are like, making me repeat myself and say things over and over and over and over and over. And I'm just like, how, like I have people on my team who are amazing and they're so good and I trust them fully. And like, they read my mind and I just, they're amazing. So like trying to find a new project manager has just been like the hugest headache of my entire life. And I'm sick of the anger and stress that it is causing me and I'm ready for it to be over. Goal is to be more organized. So I'm gonna, try and have a little more patience with the second person we're trying. We'll see how it goes or maybe it won't work out and I will just take a different approach of just hiring the people in the sp certain aspects that we need. I don't freaking know. I'm gonna figure it out and business is gonna get organized in February and a month from now, if you guys like this video and I do another one, hopefully I am saying how organized my business is and that that was one of the best accomplishments of February. Truly, I hope that is the case because I am I have a smile on my face, but like <laughs> it's been so stressful and I'm over it. This video um, was longer than I hoped. I hope you like it. I hope it wasn't too rambly. I I like making it, so let me know in the comments what you think, please, because I want to do one like monthly, but only if you guys like it. With that, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along on Instagram and LTK, and I will see you in the next, hopefully, vlog, but in the next YouTube video next. <laughs>